Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create this. It takes 14 hours and 50 minutes to travel from New York to Mumbai by air. Or this. While Nigerians typically live around 54.5 years, the Japanese enjoy an average lifespan of 85.5 years, nearly enough time to witness their grandchildren grow into adulthood. These motion graphics help you to improve your storytelling and also boost your audience retention by making your videos more engaging. We will learn how to create these motion graphics just by using Canva. Now we are going to select the texture that we like from these options. I'm going to select this one and simply set the image as the background. If you don't like the designs from this search result, you can go to Pixaway Pixels or even YouTube to find the background that you like. Now we have to create the grid. To create the grid, simply search for grid, go to graphics and select the grid. Now change the color to white. Now double click it to crop it and select 16 by 9. Spread the grid throughout the page. Now reduce the transparency to about 21. Our background is now ready. Now we create the motion graphics. At the end of this video, I am going to show you one very special tip. So make sure to like this video. We are going to create these motion graphics first. First of all, let's bring all the elements to our artboard. After bringing the elements to the artboard, change the colors and arrange them accordingly. I have given green color for Nigeria and red color for Japan. After arranging everything, now let's bring the text. Now we have to animate the elements. To do that, click any one of the elements and click on show timings. So by default, all the elements are shown for the full length of the video. but we don't want that. We want different elements to appear at different time of the video. For instance, we want this bar chart and this flag to appear at the beginning of the video. Whereas we want this text to appear at the very end of the video. So accordingly, we are going to reduce this timing to the section where we want this element to appear. So let's do that. After doing that, we get this video. You can see it still looks pretty much basic and we have some more things to add. Now let's add animation to each of these elements. You can hide these timings for now. Let's select this Nigerian flag and we are going to go to this animate option. And we are going to select the animation that we think might be suitable. Now to get that rising effect in case of this bar diagram, we are going to select this element and go to this animate option and we are going to select this wipe and our direction is going to be from bottom to top and we are going to reduce the speed. We are again going to animate this text. Similarly animate other elements. Play the video once again and see how it looks. You can see the timing of the video doesn't look that great. This 54.5 years and this Japanese flag are appearing at the same time. So we are going to go to the timings once more and adjust it accordingly. So if you find that the length of the video is not enough, to show all these animations, you can increase the timing of the video as well. So now, let's take a look at the video one more time. You can see now the animation looks perfect. Now let's learn how to create another type of motion graphics. As done previously, bring all the elements to the artboard.
in order to show the line from point A to point B we are going to use hyphen so I have added this text element and simply adding the hyphen we can change the letter spacing as well now keep this line under these two elements by going to layer and click on show layers and just drag it at the bottom of these two GPS signs so that it doesn't show these corners after that add a new text element now we need an aeroplane so now the process is absolutely same first we want this GPS to appear in our timeline next we want this 14 hours and 50 minutes to appear after that we want this New York after that we want this line to go from this GPS to this GPS then we want this GPS to appear after that we want this Mumbai to appear at the very end at the same time we want this aeroplane move from New York to Mumbai there are only two new things that you need to learn in this video which I am going to quickly tell you first is moving this line you can do that by going to this animate section and select this wipe and just manage the speed of this line and you get this moving line from point A to point B next is moving this airplane to move the airplane simply select the airplane click on this animate tab and you get this tools section click on create an animation and as we are moving this aeroplane in a straight line make sure to hold shift and just move your plane in the straight line so I told you at the end of the video I am going to give you one special tip so the tip is if you simply add a map you can create the map animation that you see in different YouTube videos just by using Canva in this way you can create these type of map animations just by using canva if you would like to create those so friends don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below and as always thank you for watching this video have a great day